Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I would like to share with you the idea of burning bridges. Now, commonly among my journey, I've been told that's one thing you do not do. You do not burn bridges. However, as I navigated my way, I came to realize that that has been my saving grace many a times. By that I mean by going to the full extent to burn those bridges, I ensure that I must move forward. I ensure that I didn't keep a safety net and it propelled me forward in my journey and in my life. I'm very grateful for it. I also came across the realization that when I burn a bridge on my journey, it doesn't burn the bridge for another. Meaning, as I move along my way, as I meet new people, environment, situations, nothing that I've done is preventing the next traveler from crossing their own bridges. So the idea of burning bridges for me or not burning those bridges doesn't resonate as much as it did when I was a, a younger man. And the understanding it has not only given me freedom, but allowed me to give myself grace as I maneuvered on. And I begin to see that over time, some will cross their own bridges. They may not burn their past bridges, but they may just cross the right bridge and will cross paths again. If not, I've made my peace with it. I hope that on their journey, they've made their peace as well. Not being bound to aspects of your journey that you have disassociated with that you've grown from, that you've passed through. That's part of this entire expedition. There's no if, ands, or buts around it. Now, at times we may get caught up or stuck in stations in life, and that's okay. It's natural as well. But when you know you're pulled forward, you burn the bridges to prevent from being pulled backwards. One step in front of the other. Be proud of who you are, who you were, who you're becoming, most importantly. And continue on. Now at times, hmm, more so in the distant past than recently, at times I would question, should I have struck that match? At this point in my life, it's one of the best things I've ever done. And it's not just one time, it's happened many a times. People, places, things, the whole nine detach, leave the souvenirs behind for the next traveler, navigating in that same proximity. You must realize that when you make these kind of decisions along your way, you're not only helping you, but you're helping the next person. Because sometimes people meet a crossroads or a fork in the road on their way, and they may be guided towards a souvenir that you left behind. And it's their time to go through that, to maintain that. And then they realize I no longer need this. And then they pass it, leave it behind. <laughs> and it sounds like an oxymoron, but they pay it forward, if you will. They give it to the next person that will meet that souvenir and allow it, hopefully, to propel that next traveler forward. It's the cycle of life. So essentially, you're not even letting something go. You're giving it away to that next person that can use it. 
to that next traveler that may receive it. It's one of the beautiful aspects of life. There is no right or wrong. It just is. Justice, right? Divine justice. With those things said, those are my thoughts. I look forward to hearing your thoughts as well. Until the next time, be blessed.